you're in the studio, you're recording an artist who's singing their heart out and their take is mostly on point, but you do notice that it is a little pitchy. You then try using flex pitch to make sure that their vocal take is perfect, but now you start noticing that there are artifacts in the recording. How do you get rid of them? My name is El Marquis, musician, rapper, record producer, Unashamed Cross Follower, and I know exactly why you're here, so now let's switch over to Logic Pro so I can show you how to get those artifacts out of Flex Pitch. If you've been using Logic Pro for several years now, you may have noticed that in more recent versions of Logic, Flex Pitch actually has improved and can definitely give you some useful results, but every now and then you may hear some artifacts pop up, some weird noises, some weird saturation or coloration to your tracks. It doesn't always happen, but it does. So if you do hear any weird artifacts or weird noises when you try using Flex Pitch, the first thing you need to do is actually make sure that the artifacts are coming from flex pitch and not from the recordings themselves so to demonstrate we're going to use a snippet from my song can or can't do remix which by the way if you want to check out the full song the link to it will be in the description below i actually did use flex pitch on the second verse of this song on the featured artist verse the first thing we're going to do is we're going to listen to the verse as it is and let's see if we can hear any artifacts knock 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 let me in i'm original they told me i can't and i won't but i did it though i know i'm a blessing in disguise taking off the coat marquee on the beat like though i had a rhythm so i don't really hear any weird noises actually coming out of this recording which is why i said sometimes it doesn't always happen but for the sake of example let's turn flex pitch off just to compare the two knock 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 let me in i'm original they told me i can't and i won't but i did it though i know i'm a blessing in disguise taking off the coat marquee on the beat so as you can hear the recording itself is really clean if you were to hear any artifacts from any parts of the takes then it would be coming from flex pitch and then from there if you do hear artifacts in your recordings with flex pitch enabled here's how you can work around them now if you are in a case where you're using flex pitch and you are hearing some artifacts it may be because you're using flex pitch throughout the entire track so in a case where the singer mostly is on point with the pitch or if like in this song where you're already using auto-tune and where it's doing a lot of cleanup for you there may be certain sections of the song where you actually are not going to be using any manual pitch correction at all so in that case i would actually turn flex pitch off on the regions where you're not using it so let's say for example maybe this part of the verse is good we're not using any pitch correction on it and then maybe this part right here maybe we, there's a note that we need to fix so first you just have to divide the regions if they're not already divided i'm just using the scissor tool to chop up the regions and then on the region that you don't want to be affected by flex pitch click on it go down to this drop down over here in the top left corner and next to flex and follow if flex pitch is already on it's going to stay on right here if you don't want that region to be affected by flex click on it and click off. And now this region right here will not be affected by flex pitch while this one will be. So let me show you what it looks like. Knock, 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 let me in. I'm original. They told me I can't and I won't, but I did it though. I know I'm a blessing. And then if you go down to edit it, you double click on this region, go over to track, and turn flex mode on. So as you can see, this region over here, this one that we turned it off, this one's just a dry recording. There's no flex mode on it, so you shouldn't be hearing any artifacts. And then this region right here, this is where you still will be able to edit it in flex. So let's say if you wanted to change this note right here, you still be able to affect it accordingly. And then let's say again with this region, maybe let's say this part of the take is good and you don't need to do any pitch correction on it. You also can click on it, go back over to flex and follow and turn it off. And if you do this, you'll ensure that there aren't any artifacts coming from flex pitch. Because like I said before, not in every single case, but every now and then just by simply turning on flex pitch, you may hear some weird noises or coloration that you don't want to hear. And one of the best ways to avoid that is simply by only using flex pitch on the regions where you actually need it. And admittedly, this can be a little tedious, especially in an instance where maybe you're working with a singer who is a little pitchy maybe they're having an off day and you do have to do a lot of correction to it there are some cases where maybe you won't be able to work around it if you're using manual pitch correction the way it's intended which is to tighten up certain regions maybe if you're also using it in conjunction with a plugin like autotune where it's doing a lot of the cleanup work for you this is a pretty good solution to work around those artifacts that you may be getting from flex pitch and of course i'm always open to hearing a different solution for this problem as well so if you have any other suggestions to work around those artifacts that you hear from flex pitch let me know in the comment section below thank you for watching this video if you like what you've seen today please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you know whenever I upload new videos. Also, be sure to visit my website, lmarkeyproductions.com. That's where you'll be able to check out my music, my beats, my sample kits, my merchandise, and my mixing, mastering, and consulting services. And now go down in the comment section below and let me know, do you use Flex Pitch? Do you like how it sounds? Do you avoid using it completely in favor of a different plugin? Let me know in the comment section below. My name is L Marquee, L Marquee Productions. God bless.